And day four begins finally with Rob coming. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. <sighs> Once again, I'm late for class. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Rogers. You'd be amazed how many times you've heard that. I was going to try and explain how uh, <laughs> my two characters get sucked into this. Oh, very good. Have we doled out specific assignments, or are we more no. like winging? No, uh, okay. well, it's like we're winging. Saxon is thinking great thoughts. At the moment, Saxon is googling the um, lyrics to McCavity. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had a particular scene of mine I wanted to do with, with uh, your police officer, that is all right. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Excellent. Meanwhile, you are collecting uh, blackmail information. <laughs> is just a little bit to Deus Ex Machina. Do we want to have some, have in Europe mysteriously lurking around doing something, or perhaps something's plural, at the earlier part of the story, simply to get people used to the idea that have in Europe's present, mm -hmm. that this is in fact a Miracle Pets story. So, that means, however, we still need to actually figure out what precisely Habanero is up to. And I mean, we've had a couple of ideas so far. One, of course, of the miracle in question will be bringing all these dead cats back to life. The other is that um, is deliberately fostering the creation of all these duplicates in order to have enough people to have a 4th of July parade. Is there anything else that anybody can think of, even vaguely plausible, as a motivation for the 4th of July parade? Well, the Cavadero represents the spirit of Independence Day. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's trying to somehow liberate all of these people and cats and get them to be in touch with their independent selves. Yeah, sure. <laughs> or take a greater interest in American history. I have no idea how that ties into the plot. <laughs> Or oh, we could certainly work it in. It might take an awful long time. <laughs> and here we have the real brains behind our ACC. Peregrine Rogers. Perry? There's Perry. That's too bad of Daddy. Uh... Pretty sure that, that that should be. Um, it's just a matter of figuring out which one and what motivation he had for going in with uh, into the office in the first place. He is known for being a multifaceted actor. That's good. Um. Yes. Okay. That ends another discussion. <laughs> <laughs> Do that reading okay, try it again. Close <laughs> up again. <clears throat> in the cage was a man in a lab coat who was busy dissecting some kind of rat. In the background, he could hear Rex Harrison singing, If I could talk to the animals. This man went by the name Fred Shedd. But to the world outside? To the world outside, or at least to the people who care about obscure third-rate villains, he was known as Vapid Veterinarian. <laughs> dum dum da dum. And that is Rob Rogers reading from an old continuity champ. No, 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 no it's no, cauliflower. Cauliflower. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Later, we will have Arthur as the voice of cauliflower. <laughs> Whoa, whoa. <laughs> bark, bark. <laughs> <laughs> All thematically consistent. Oh, you silly machine. I don't want to do Adobe. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> uh, uh, that's okay. We'll remind you later. 
I'm sorry, my computer is not liking me at the moment. It is being recalcitrant. <laughs> I'm afraid that um, at this point in time, with only, what, 20 minutes remaining before we have to finish for the afternoon to go off to see the Redwoods, I do not want to be mucking around trying to update Adobe <laughs> Acrobat. <laughs> You say your plan to end the story? <laughs> yes, the, the plan to end the story at this point is to have a bus driven by Brad Pitt, filled with Brad Pitt's, crash through the wall, crush the vet the veterinary against the wall with a with a final VAY! <laughs> and then to have McCavity or sorry, to have Hobbit Yara scroll and say, what's going on? And then for <laughs> someone else to explain that random senseless violence and explosions are what the 4th of July is all about. <laughs> when everyone walks off feeling inspired and proud to be Americans. Well, actually, Except for those who are not. If a habanero is quite so clued up on what his uh, holiday means, he can be the one who actually explains. So yeah. um, he sits there calmly, the bus comes through, crushes <laughs> vapid veterinarian, somebody else asks what's going on, he says, Mindless, senseless violence as well. So yes, give that piece of dialogue to have in here. I, I agree. All right. You? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Creative minds at work. <clears throat> and caffeine. Ends this session. Yes. So ends another thrilling episode of RackCon 2012. Tune in next time when you'll hear Saxon say, We need more explosions! <laughs> <laughs> People taking photos and people <laughs> taking photos. So <laughs> I think it's quite amazing how we only just realised towards the very end who the actual villain was. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's, yes. So it could be argued that McCavity had a role in this as well, but being McCavity walks away scot free. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Vicious, self-interested little monsters.